Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Ukraine, and now Israel. Britain seems to enthusiastically involve itself in far off foreign wars for little gain and often little thanks. The British ruling class never seem to ask themselves, how does Britain and the British people benefit from these wars? How does it serve the national interest? Maybe they just don't care. The interests of Britain might not even cross their minds. Tens of billions of pounds of your money spent and hundreds of lives lost in foreign lands, all whilst our land and our people suffer under decline. The question, how does this benefit the British people, should be a question that our politicians ask themselves every single time they make a decision. But over the last 30 years, it appears they've been asking an entirely different question. Britain's foreign policy isn't there to benefit another country. It is not Britain's job or responsibility to fight for another country's freedom. People don't pay their taxes for it to be sent to a foreign country. Our armed forces don't serve to fight or die for a foreign country. Britain gains nothing from this perverse arrangement, except gestures of vague goodwill and thanks, meaningless in the end. Our ruling class gain. Our politicians get to parade around the world thinking that they're Winston Churchill. Boris Johnson with Ukraine is the prime example. They get to feel important, they get to make their speeches, they get to send soldiers to die while they travel to the United Nations on a luxury private jet. And when millions of refugees arrive in Europe thanks to wars that they have contributed to, they open our borders and let them in. Britain must not be dragged into another foreign war helping Israel. We gain nothing and could lose everything. It's time for Britain to be self-interested and put herself first.